join us as we have one of the most perfect days in Italy on a day trip from Pisa to a beautiful historic walled town of Lucca. It is beautiful, the ceiling looks amazing. Situated in the heart of Tuscany, we explore the beautiful cobbled streets and try all the wonderful street food. I don't even know what this is called, but we got chocolate flavour. As we enjoy our final day here in Italy. Oh, there it is up at the top, look. Good morning guys from Pisa in Italy. Today we're going to be doing a day trip to a little walled town called Luca. This is actually a recommendation of one of you guys over on Instagram. So first mission is to try and find somewhere that sells the bus tickets. So normally like newsstands or somewhere like that normally does bus tickets. Can actually buy on the bus but you ha it's more expensive and you have to have the exact change, neither of which any of us have. So let's try and get a bus into Luca. You can also get a train as well but we are pretty far away from the train station so let's see if we can figure it out shall we and just above there is the leaning tower of pisa but we are heading to find the bus if you haven't seen our pisa vlog we have been traveling around italy and yesterday we actually headed to pisa so if you want to go check out that vlog we actually went into the town of pisa seen the leaning tower and it was a beautiful day so highly recommend checking out the journey anyway let's hopefully find this bus ticket. Uh, Telegram Move It Tabnet. So I'm going to have a look because I have actually got the app Move It. So we're having slightly the same issue. It is all in Italian with no option to change it to English. So there's our bus, the E3, and it's heading towards Luca. It did stop over here. So I'm going to go see if there's a stall where we can buy tickets. We've just seen over the road here a sign saying bus ticket. So maybe we can get it from here. All right, bus ticket. Let's see. Can I use this? Grazie mille, ciao! Okay, I got them, but I have a feeling we're gonna miss the bus. Right, I need to cross over here. I think we've missed this bus, but we can't see the E3 on the sides. So we're gonna grab something to eat and go to the next bus stop because they come every like 45 minutes or so. There's a cafe right behind us, so let's get a coffee. We came in here the other day. Look at all these biscuits and pastries. Oh my god, we were in the cafe and Mike's seen the bus come outside so we just like had to peg it. So thank goodness Mike actually was keeping an eye on the road when we were in there because we were about to get like a coffee and luckily we weren't getting served. <laughs> oh my god, two waters in his hand. So then he seen the bus come in and he was like, the E3, the E3. So then he shot like his water back and we just all like pegged it out. Luckily the bus stop was right outside the cafe. So now hopefully we're heading on our way to Luca. of Luca so as you can see we're just going through this wall and this wall circles the whole of Luca city of Luca the wall was actually built between the 1600s and the 1700s which is a very long time ago and this is a really really old town so we're gonna have a stroll around there's no plans to see anything in particular we just want to explore the town and it's also lunchtime so maybe go for something to eat and a coffee Luca located in Italy's Tuscany region graces the banks of the Sergio River this city is renowned for its 
meticulously preserved Renaissance walls that surround its charming historic centre adorned with quaint cobblestone streets, the expansive 16th and 17th century ramparts feature wide tree-lined promenades that are cherished by visitors for leisurely walks and we've seen a lot of cycling adventures and bike places so you can get on a bike and explore this beautiful little town. Wow, everywhere you look is so pretty. Look at that! What the heck? So it looks like a beautiful street with a cafe ahead. Oh, it's a beautiful square. Nice. Oh, wow. How pretty. Should we go here for some food? Just got an iced coffee and a pomodoro mozzarella panini melt. How much is that? That's nice. It's a religious, uh, beautiful church, last piece of Romanesque. Ooh, what in Luca? So we just enjoyed a nice coffee and our panini, and now we're going to have a walk around Luca. And I've just had my first experience of an Italian squatty potty. And it's probably because these buildings are super old, but I had to go to the toilet down this little tiny side street. And uh, yeah, it was a squatty potty, but. I don't mind. So now we're going to have a nice walk around. It looks beautiful and the weather is beautiful as well. Coming in May, it has had some rainy days, but I have to admit the temperature for walking around has been very mild and very nice, especially if you don't really love hot weather. I would say this is the perfect time to come. Uh, if you like hotter weather like me, it's probably a little bit later. Probably June would be a little nicer as it's warming up all later May, but it has been nice to explore and walk around with, but not quite sunbathing weather or pool weather, especially in May, I wouldn't say, but ah, I'm just happy the sun's out. I've seen a lot of bike rental places uh, here where you can rent uh, rent them. One hour, 18 euros, or you can get a two-seater one, which is 12 euros. I actually don't think that's bad. A proper bike, four euros. So I'm just looking at these lamps, and they have a very unique base to them. Peculiar. Like uh, ram's legs or something. Very odd, but there's like three. Can you see? Hmm. Look cool though. Look how beautiful it is here. Here, there's an international festival, the first festival, first festival dedicated to Giacomo Puccini in Luca. Oh, I think this might be the big church. Oh, wow! There's a concert here tonight, but unfortunately, our train and bus stops at seven. But look how beautiful this church is. the only one either. We come round here, there's another huge building. The details of the building are amazing. Look at all the patterns on them. So you can pay three euros to go into the bell tower here and also this beautiful church. We have paid six euros in total, total to come and see the church and also to go up to the bell tower. It is beautiful, the ceiling looks amazing. This looks like the Starbucks symbol, doesn't it? This actually looks like a modern painting, like the way the faces are drawn. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't look very renaissance -y. Does that make sense? Like, he looks like a modern man. You know, like, normally the renaissance have, like, certain faces. I love all these mosaics. 
these details outside the church. Anyway, we've got tickets to the bell tower, so that's where we're going to head now. I hear birds everywhere, it sounds so nice. I'm hoping it'll be a really nice view when we get to the top, so let's climb up the bell tower. It's really narrow in here. Whoa. Oh, it is very narrow. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, entrance to the bell tower. So apparently there's 170 steps, so oh, there it is up at the top, look. We're about to climb all the way up there. Let's go. It gets very steep. Oh, made it halfway up. And then we still need to go all the way to the top there. Oh wow, this is gonna be epic views. <gasps> yeah, that looks amazing. Wow, almost there. It goes a long way down. We made it to the top. Wow, this is worth three euros. This is the north. The bell tower of Luca Cathedral is a 56 metre or 184 foot tall structure located next to the cathedral. It features a square base, ornate arches and a bell chamber with functioning bells. Climbing the tower offers panoramic views of Luca and its surroundings and honestly, this was so stunning. We even seen another bell tower in the distance with a garden on top of it, which was pretty cool. Wow, the views <laughs> are so amazing up here. This is definitely worth the three euros to come at the top and see all the views. It's a bit of a shame that they've got these grills here but I understand why they've got it there. It's probably for safety but holy moly what a good view of Luca and you get 360 views as well. Amazing. It looks even more magical and beautiful from up here. So the bells all range from the 12th century all the way up to the 19th. So not the most recent one is our 20th century. Oh yeah, the 11th. I always forget that. So 1277 is the oldest one and that is this little tiny one over here in the corner. So that was such a cool experience. And now we are heading for some pistachio gelato, which has been our tradition since we discovered it here in Italy. We have never had pistachio gelato before and I am obsessed with it. As you've probably have seen if you've been watching the Italian series. So we have found a good place. So we're just gonna have a walk around the streets and we're gonna head off for some gelato. How nice does this cafe look to just sit and have some wine out here. So far, I would say if you are heading to Pisa for a couple of days, 100% hop on the bus and come to Luca. And I would highly recommend it because there's hardly anyone here. Just very relaxed and slow, just kind of that pace of life that you would expect from kind of Tuscany and the Italian countryside. So ah, I've loved it. Look at this. It's all like pasta and stuff. Should we go in here? Oh wow. Willy pasta. That's not what I was expecting, does he? Inside this really old building is a bar, but they've got like arancini. I tried this when I went to Milan. I actually went to Milan with my friend Rachel, and that was on my main channel, Catnip. So I will leave it in a playlist if you want to see all the Italian vlogs, because that was a couple of years ago now. Uh, oh, we found the gelato place. Ooh. Also, look how cool this uh, shop front looks here. Oh my goodness, and inside is this beautiful ceramic plates and stuff. Oh my goodness, these are so nice. Oh my gosh, in the gelato shop, look what I've spotted. It's a cat in a backpack. He's got his pet cat in the backpack, it's so cute. Oh yeah, please. Oh, it's so cute. We've also seen this cream, white chocolate and pistachio dessert, but this will definitely probably give me dumping syndrome, but look how nice that looks. So there's one here that is milk ice cream, ricotta cheese, orange peel, cream, and chopped pistachio. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love like citron flavored stuff and the bottom one is citron with a pistachio in it and of course we got the pistachio on top and it is delicious. We just sat here on these little stone benches just outside the gelato place. Look how nice these bikes have the baskets on. I want one for home and I'm enjoying my pistachio gelato. I'm gonna have a quick look in this bookshop. Wow, oh, this is a cool place for a bookshop, isn't it? Oh, these are cute. Oh, it's got a little 
sleeping mask with it. Oh, it's even got a little coffee shop inside here where you can enjoy cannellonis and stuff. Oh, this is a cute little private car you had. Square is so beautiful. Everywhere I look has been so pretty here. Wow, should we sit here? This looks really nice. I love these bikes, look how nice they look. It's currently a walk into here, but there's a square that looks so beautiful. got a really nice looking nice coffee and I actually decided to my, make my own this time by getting an espresso and some iced milk and making my own. Also got this protein smoothie which has protein milk in it. So this is Greek yogurt, honey, vanilla protein powder or vanilla proteins it says, uh, banana and cinnamon. It's really nice it's got like the cinnamon gives it like a spice. It's really, really delicious. I've never really tried a smoothie like this before. Doing that, put the coats on, walked out literally two steps, and now they're putting the coats away. Well, I got like a cold draft <laughs> when I was sat down. Oh my goodness, look at all these. Ricotta, thing. Ricotta cheese that's made out of, and a chocolate one. Look at these, I've never seen these before. 350. Ooh, pistachio flavor, yum yum. That's what it looks like. Wow. They've also got focaccia, pizza. Ooh. So this is typical of Tuscany. It is honey, nuts, and fruit, and some spices. A woman was so nice in the shop, she recommended us a few things. She even gave us some salt bread. Uh, she said salt bread, it's nice warm bread. For free as a little gift, she said. But we got a few different things. Dean got this coconut because he loves coconut and um, like biscotti biscuit which looks really nice and then we also got she said it was like the cake of Tuscany like um, a popular dessert in Tuscany and this is what it looks like it's honey almonds and fruit with spices mmm and it smells really fruity oh and it's got powdered sugar on the top mmm it's really really dense it tastes like orange and citrus and spices with nuts and you can taste the honey as well that is really, really tasty. I'm gonna stop there though, because there's a lot of sugar in that. She recommended this. It's very, very heavy. And, whoa. I don't even know what this is called, but we got chocolate flavor. Mm, that is so nice. It's filled with this chocolate stuffing, and it tastes so rustic and homemade. Get the pigeon in, please. That'd be so nice with a cup of tea. Is one of the watchtowers or bell towers that we've seen from the viewpoint earlier on. Oh, she really looks like Daisy. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. There's a little river here. Noticed in Slovenia and in Italy, the rivers and stuff are all like this green colour compared to England's pooey brown colour. Just got this really refreshing iced tea. But oh my gosh, on a hot day, Mm, so nice. We've also got this, which I've never tried before, and he warmed it up and said it's nicer, slightly warm. It still feels a bit cold. Oh, it's still cold, I don't think. I think he accidentally didn't turn it on. Val Dastano, I can't remember how to say it, but basically it's this pastry, and inside is pasta, tomatoes, and mozzarella. Mmm, prosciutto ham as well. That's really good. We are currently just sat at the bus stop. Our bus comes in about 19 minutes and then we're going to head into Pisa. The last bus here is around 6 o'clock. Oh no, it's 7 o'clock, isn't it? But we didn't want to get the last last bus just in case anything went wrong. We decided to call it a day here in Luca. It's absolutely beautiful. And we're going to head back into Pisa Central and we're going to find somewhere for tea tonight. The bus is here. Yeah. 
looks like a castle on the hill up here. Back at the back of the, the Tower of Pisa and we're going to find a restaurant. Through this little alleyway you'll see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Well there she is. Anyway, we're going to go back down the main street because there is some really really nice restaurants and everything all lying in the street so we're going to go grab something to eat there. I'm feeling really tired actually. I was getting really sleepy on the bus but it's currently golden hour so the sun is beginning to set which is my favourite time of day. Doesn't this look such like such a nice restaurant? It looks proper Italian, like a pizza. We decided not to go there, although it does look very romantic and beautiful. We're going to walk a bit further into Pisa like we did yesterday. And I think it's because these guys want to go to the nice gelato place, which was near the river, uh, which is about a 10 minute walk away. So yeah, we're going to go a bit further down because these places are really close to the tower and are always really busy and a little bit more pricey. Oh, we've decided to come here because this calzone looks nice. Oh, we've got all the different pastas in the window. Look at that pappadella. We got some bread for the table. We're all grabbing the focaccia. We're all starving, I think. So our lasagna has come out. Apparently this is a starter. And Mike's calzone has come out as well. And they've also got fried. They also got a glass of red wine. All right, let's try this lasagna. Doesn't look as tomato-y as mine that I make at home. But it looks nice and creamy. It's nice and creamy on the inside. <laughs> and for our mains, we got the roast beef with grilled vegetables. It doesn't look like the most appetizing plate, I'm not gonna lie, but I am really excited for some grilled veg. And Ashley got a ham and pineapple pizza, which looks incredible. Oh, oh. We have been literally so busy the last few days going around Italy and I think actually me and Dean have decided to have a really lazy day for our final day tomorrow and maybe just go out for the evening in Pisa. If you love travel vlogs don't forget the Japan series will be starting very soon and that is going to be a very very big travel vlog series which I am so excited about. I'll see you all very freaking soon. Alright then. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.